But first, here's what's hot, brought to you by JMMB Group, your best interest at heart. JMMB Group last week announced the launch of its long-awaited Moneyline app. The app will allow customers to conduct all their banking and investment transactions in one spot. Customers will also be able to pay bills, send local and international wire transfers, and buy and sell stocks. The app is available for download in the Google Play Store and the App Store. Robert Almeida has officially been named CEO of NCB Financial Group. Almeida has been acting as interim CEO since last July following the departure of Patrick Hilton. A veteran in the banking and finance industry, Almeida has been at NCB for over 16 years in a director role. NCB FG Chairman Michael Leachin made the announcement after the company's AGM last week. Bob Marley One Love set a new midweek record earning 14 million US dollars in North America on the first day only. The film hit theaters on February 14, which was celebrated as Ash Wednesday and Valentine's Day. The biopic about Jamaican icon and reggae legend Bob Marley brought in an estimated 80 million USD globally as of Sunday. The film, which focuses on Bob Marley's life from 1976 to 1978, was made for 70 million US dollars and is distributed by Paramount Pictures. Meanwhile, the film also broke records for Palace Amusement. Marketing manager at Palace, Melanie Graham, said that the two of the company's four theatres were sold out on Wednesday, marking the 100-year-old company's largest opening day. Graham said over 7,500 moviegoers watched the film on opening day, which is twice the amount that attended opening day for the 2018 blackbuster Black Panther. The United Kingdom has slipped into a technical recession following a second quarter of economic decline. According to the Office for National Statistics, GDP fell 0.3% in the final three months of 2023, after 0.1% in the July to September quarter. A recession is usually defined as two consecutive quarters of economic decline. However, some economists say the label recession is overly dramatic. They argue that despite the fall-off in economic growth, employment rates continue to rise, and real wages, which is the amount of money a person makes, adjusted for inflation, have rebounded. What's Hot was brought to you by JMMB Group, your best interest at heart.